Let me tell you this before I pray for you. Uh, remember last time uh, I spoke about the issue of you know, the, the White House, the sickness. I was praying uh, for a country called uh, USA. Oh, you hear me? So I was praying for them. Uh, more especially the White House. And I saw some, some things that uh, are not good. So I just want us to go and pray for the president. Uh, because I saw an attack and <clears throat> This attack can be very bad. I was already hearing that he has got health issues. That's what I was hearing. So I just want us to pray uh, for this man. Just one minute. And from there, I don't want to talk too much. One minute. You know, whatever that we speak, you, you see it with your eyes. So now let us not be late this time. Let's pray. I told you that whatever God say, I must speak, I'll speak it. So let's pray for the president there, for, this, for his health. Can you hear me, all of you? Can you hear me? Huh? You can't. Should I increase my volume? Huh? Eh? <laughs> I was saying before I pray for you let us pray for United States and uh, we pray for uh, this wind is not good we pray for the president I saw that already there's a problem in his health and I don't know where God wants to take us to but I believe whatever happens uh, on this earth is the plan of God. Are you hearing me? Amen. Whatever happens is the plan of God. So this is something like an, an attack on him. So I just want us to pray just one minute and I'm coming to you. Pray, just pray for that leadership. It doesn't matter whether he's disobeying God or not. It does not matter. Let's just pray. Just pray, just one minute. Open your mouth and pray. I'm coming to you. Oh, God. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 just one minute. Pray, pray, pray. Jesus mighty name. Let me tell you this. If a woman becomes a leader, oh, you know me? If a woman becomes a leader, I'll just speak in parables. I don't want to go into details. Oh, you know me? If a woman becomes a leader, the time of Babylon will come. Oh, you know me? I'm sure you're hearing what I'm saying. I'll tell you in parable. I don't want to go into details. But if a woman becomes a leader, the time of what? Of Babylon will come. And Babylon will be destroyed. I'm leaving it like that. Hallelujah. You know, if you don't pray, you won't catch me. 
but if you are praying, you will catch me. Are you hearing me? If a woman becomes what? The time of what? The prophecy of Babylon. Are you hearing me? The prophecy of Babylon. I say let's pray for the health of this man. If the woman comes and takes over, the prophecy of Babylon will come to pass. And that's how many of you will start to have problems. So, but I believe we have prayed and God has heard our prayers. Clap hands for Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes you have to speak with wisdom, eh? Such things you have to speak with wisdom. Uh, because, hey, 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 there's a lot of problems. So, but I believe God will help their nation. God will help their nation. Because if not, very soon we'll hear the cries of the small babies. Hallelujah. I'm saying very soon you'll hear what? The cry of small babies. And no one will help. So, I'm going to leave it like that. I won't say more than that. So, just pray. It doesn't happen in your time. Eh? Because it can happen tomorrow. It can happen tomorrow. So, I believe. Because Satan is pushing this, this agenda. Already he's trying, he thinks he's winning, but by bringing, removing that one and bringing this one. And after I remove that one and bring this one, now this one must not finish, another one must come. So there's a lot of problems. So, but I believe the plan of God will prevail. Amen. I was telling you, I said, Satan cannot rule when the children of God are still here. According to the Bible, it's not me. Are you hearing me? Antichrist is not supposed to rule when the church is still here. Satan has to wait for us to go now. And after we are gone, now I can do whatever I want to do. But when the church is still around, so he just need to postpone his plans. And I believe that's what will happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm still telling you, you'll be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm saying you'll be free in the name of Jesus. I, I can't hear you. I'm saying you'll be free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whether they like it or not, you'll be free. While President Biden underwent a routine medical screening today, there was an historic, albeit brief, transfer of power, with Vice President Kamala Harris becoming the first woman to temporarily hold presidential powers. CBS's Nancy Cordes is at the White House, and hi there, Nancy. I understand you just got a readout about the president's visit. We did, Nora, and it is quite detailed. It's about six pages long. The president appears to have been seen by a team of specialists today, and their report highlights two changes to the president's health since his last checkup. First, the report notes, as many observers have, that the president has experienced increasing frequency and severity of throat clearing and coughing during speaking engagements. The medical team concluded that acid reflux is the cause and recommended that he continue taking an over-the-counter acid blocker. Second, the report notes that the president's ambulatory gait, his walk, is stiffer and less fluid than it was a year or so ago. Or so ago. The team chalked that up to significant spinal arthritis and a foot fracture last year, as well as some mild dysfunction of the nerves in his feet. All told, the president spent more than five hours at Walter Reed Medical Center today. For 85 minutes, while he was anesthetized for his colonoscopy, Vice President Kamala Harris became the first female acting president in U.S. history. When he got back, President Biden told us he felt great, and he went on to carry out the traditional pardoning of Thanksgiving turkeys, in this case two turkeys named peanut butter and jelly. 
Uh, bottom line here, Nora, the doctor's conclusion was that he remains a healthy, vigorous 78-year-old male who incidentally turns 79 tomorrow. I'm surprised they didn't name those turkeys Pfizer and Moderna. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. President Biden will briefly transfer power to Vice President Kamala Harris today as he'll be under anesthetic for what's being described as a routine colonoscopy. The White House says the procedure is part of the president's annual medical checkup. Our correspondent Joe Pike is live in Washington for us. So acting President Kamala Harris then, Joe. Exactly, Sarah. That in itself is historic. The first time, I believe, that we've had a, a female US president, albeit uh, very briefly. Joe Biden is due to head off this morning, US time, to the Walter Reed Medical Center, about half an hour outside Washington, probably a little bit quicker if you're traveling as president. That is the same place uh, where President uh, Trump stayed for a few days last year when he uh, tested positive for COVID-19. Now, we know that uh, Joe Biden is, of course, the oldest man to serve as president. He is 78. He turns 79 tomorrow. And just before he became president, his doctor uh, did tell us that he was fit to serve in that role, but was being treated for a number of conditions, non-valvular atrial fibrillation, high cholesterol, gastroesophageal reflux and uh, seasonal uh, allergies. This means as I say, that Kamala Harris, his vice president, will uh, be in charge. The power will be transferred to her for a brief period. And because of that, she will be working uh, from her office in the uh, West Wing, close to the centre uh, of power at this uh, key time. And the White House are very keen to make it clear this is a process set out in the Constitution, and this has happened uh, many times before. They point certainly to the presidency of George W. Bush. He underwent the same procedure in 2002 and in 2007. It comes as at the same point as President Biden is trying to get a, a, a key bit of uh, legislation, his Build Back Better bill through the House of Representatives, this key social policy and climate change, a bit of legislation which some argue is at the heart of his presidency. Uh, but of course, he will not be able to uh, make calls to persuade politicians, lawmakers, as they say here, to back it. Uh, Kamala Harris may be, but she'll probably have her eyes on uh, a few things as well, as she will be serving as president. So he will be undergoing that routine medical this morning, including a routine colonoscopy uh, under anaesthetic. And the White House, Sarah, have told us we will get a written summary uh, from them as to uh, his medical condition. Yesterday when I was praying, God was telling me that uh, this is small. You know, this thing that has happened, it's small. So there's a bigger problem that will come. So now <clears throat> we just have to pray for, for this man. Because the sickness that he's experiencing now, it's like it will grow and grow and grow. It'll become more like a problem. You know, so that the woman must come and take over. So what is happening now is just small. And I believe we'll start to pray. Even you, when you get home, you must pray. Uh, last time I told you, I said, let the will of God happen. Are oh, you hearing me? Let's allow the will of God to do what? To happen. So if it's the will of God, let the woman come. Uh, because the, is, the issue of his sickness, last time I told you, I said, let's pray for him. I'm sure many of you, you saw it on the news. Huh? You saw it on the news. So now, but what will come uh, will be worse than this. So let's just pray for the grace of God. I believe whatever that happens on this earth, it's a plan of God. There's nothing that can happen here if God didn't allow it. You hear me? There's nothing that can happen on this earth if God didn't allow it. So whatever happens, it's the will of God. So, but let's pray for the leadership of the U.S. Thank you. God bless you.